Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Creative Craft. I haven't done one in a while. I've been away working, you know, all that type of shizzle. But anyway, we're back in my creative world and I've got a few things to show you. Um, I've been working on my sort of uh, residential area a bit. I'll show you that in just a second, but if we just go over here. God, these damn zombies! Picking on my peoples. Picking on my people here. Anyway, I have made the train station. As you remember from before, it was actually in the shape of a boat. But I have um, shaped it up a little bit. It's pretty much an L shape at the moment. But uh, that's okay. Uh, I put a bit of glowstone up in here. I try to make it look a bit more architectural. A please. A pleasing. I don't even know if that's a word. Architectural. A pleasing. Don't know. Anyway, it's an L shape, so the the actual station is here. I could actually make two lines, make it look more like a like a, a proper train station where, uh, well, this cart takes you to one place and then another cart takes you to another place. But uh, this actually takes you to the desert. <coughs> Excuse me. So it goes along these tracks. I probably need to um, put something on these tracks. There's not mobs and spawn on there. I have tried to light them up as best as I can, but it's probably it's obviously not working. So if I just take you in here, this is the train station. I'm quite pleased with this. These damn zombies, man! I'm gonna have to put a block back there. Um, it was a step. Oh, it was steps. Where's the step to? Right, uh, this one here. Right put that there we go if I just show you how I actually cr created this I used a lot of wooden steps along the sides and I uh, built it up so it raised the ceiling a bit so it's, it's pretty that straightforward people usually ask me why I do this but I'll explain um, as you can see there's a half step um, just by here on the corner of the building there's one by here and there's one by here um, some people have said to me that I should just do this but uh, my taste actually tells me just to put a half step there. Um, I don't know if that's just me being weird or if it actually looks weird, but I've done it over the entire building. So, uh, yeah, I have no idea why people ask me. It's my own taste. I put some uh, wood around there too. Put some glowstone up in here. I'll probably hide those in the ceiling a bit more. And something I saw the other day on someone's YouTube channel is where you can actually... Um, light a place up but actually conceal the lights using pumpkins I put glowstone in there um, I think it was Seblin or something I think it's uh, the guy's called Seblin he's got like a creative series on YouTube um, he plays in survival but uh, he's actually a very creative guy he is quite cool so um, yeah I'll show you that in a minute how um, how to pick underground lighting I've actually got Optifine on at the moment, it's really improving my video recording, so uh, I'm really chuffed about that. Um, so this is the residential area I've been working on. Um, there's a path down here, but the snow's um, gone over at the moment. That's my food silo I showed you um, before, so uh, you know what's in here. I put some lights in here to stop mobs from spawning. Like I said, I'll probably put chests in here and stuff like that. Um, this is a, you know, it's like a village... Uh, food storage depot so this is the main house here well not the main house but uh okay the guy's out so this is the one house there's no interior in here at the moment I got the shape of the building probably put like a bed in here and um, some bookshelves and all that type of uh, jiggerita so that's quite cool here is the local library the village library so this is the last building I actually worked on um, it's got a, a quite a it's quite a Got quite a broad outside. Uh, the 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 doors is actually inset, so I've got this sort of uh, this outside brick area, which is um, kind of cool. Let's close that. So this is the books. They all go up, um, you know, one block higher at a time. Probably have to put some seating arrangements in here as well. Maybe some, you know, maybe I could put an enchanting table in here, like uh, the village enchanting table. I don't want the enchanting tables to be too common because this is going to be an adventure map at some point so I'm um, actually discovering an enchanting table is probably something I would like rather be seen. This is the, the mechanics house, uh, the boat maker's house. So 
So if I just take you in here, he should be in here. Nope, he's escaped. The guy who I had in a cage has <laughs> stopped from running away last time I uh, posted a creative craft video. So that's the mechanics house, which is linked up to the boatyard here, where the airships are actually created. And then what I showed you last time is the actual bridge which goes into the mountain. Um, I've lit that up with glowstone, I'm sure I showed you that. I can't really remember what I posted in my last episode. But yeah, it comes out through here, so um, this is going to head on over to the jungle at some point. But not at the moment, uh, we need to do a lot more work to this place. So as you can see, the town is coming along really nicely. Um, I really should consider making more residential sort of area on this side of the, the river here. Um, it's a pity it's a snow biome, but uh, it's it's kind of cool. Like you know, I do I do like snow biomes. Um, I I'm not a huge fan of them, but they are kind of cool. You know, you can get some sort of winter wonderland theme going on, especially the church as well with the <coughs> bits of snow in here and the the open caskets here and here too. And then we've got the we've got the grave of um, the old warrior of the village just down here. So let's get out. Take a view from the sky. Um, yeah, so uh, if you want to see anything actually built in this Creative Craft series, please feel free to leave um, something in the comments where I can go by. Some ideas, and uh, you know, I really appreciate that of you guys. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be working on a shipwreck too, which is going to be over in the swamp area, just over there. I've got Optifine on, so uh, it's not loading everything too fast. Um, so the recording is nice and smooth for you guys. I know some of my past recordings have been quite shit, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm getting better at it. So uh, you got you got to give me a thumbs up for that. <laughs> yeah, see, so there's the path going over to the lighthouse too, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna put a shipwreck over there. Um, this world will be up for download in a few more episodes. I don't want it to last for too long because um, you know I want to see what you guys make of the map and uh, you know have a bit of fun with it and all that type of stuff. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of Creative Craft. I know it's kind of short, you know, it's just a catch up, but uh, I'm going to do some time elapses pretty soon. Um, probably do a time elapse of the, uh, the old um, of the shipwreck I'm going to be working on just over there. So there's a the headshot of my village. I've got the prison just over there in the fog where I built quite a couple of episodes back, about three episodes I think. So yeah, everything's coming along lovely. Um, definitely want to do a, another bridge by there. I could possibly do that for the next episode. Maybe time elapse that. But uh, yeah, there's some, some ideas I want to work on. And I want to get some more ideas of you guys too. Um, I hope you like my new train station. I could probably put a sign on it. And uh, possibly put another uh, platform on here so that a train could go to a different region of my uh, Minecraft world. So thanks for watching. Um, <coughs> oh man, my, my throat keeps drying up all the time. I've been doing quite a lot of videos today and a lot of talking and, uh, and all that type of stuff. So thank you for watching the video. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, there's links in the description for that. Um, please leave comments and feedback. I, I really appreciate people who are really enjoying the series and uh, if you're not too fussed on the series, I would appreciate you telling me what's wrong and what I can improve on really because uh, you know, I enjoy playing Minecraft. I want I want you to enjoy my videos and, and all that type of stuff. Um, I've got an adventure series too. If you uh, just discovered this video and you want to head on over to my channel, you can check that out. And I also play a few uh, first person shooters too. So uh, please feel free to have a look. Um, I think I've covered everything. I actually le um, made a uh, channel update uh, video today. So uh, that's on my channel too. I would appreciate you heading over there because I do do live uh, twitch.tv streams. And uh, I really enjoy engaging with my um, my audience. And uh, we got some competitions in the future too. So if you want to head on over to uh, that video um, or leave a comment seeing what type of competitions we could do and all stuff like that. I really appreciate that. I know that I, I'm probably talking for too much now, so uh, <laughs> it's best if I go. <laughs> I shall speak to you guys very, very soon, and thank you for supporting my channel.